So there we were, in my bedroom, looking at my wardrobe. We're like, Johnny, aren't your feet getting all chafed and stuff, you know, not wearing any socks and those boots? I mean, they're, they're some pretty awesome boots, but they're just like, you know, missing some, some socks and stuff. You know, don't you get blisters? <laughs> don't you get like, you know, weird infectious things growing in your feet? Why are there moles living inside your toenails? You know, Scott, that's, that's a good point. I, I really shouldn't have subterranean rodents living in my feet. So, you know what, let's, let's get us some socks. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, and so, we went to get socks. Though I've forgotten where. Narnia, that's right. How do we get to Narnia? That's a good question. See, I heard from a little birdie that we have to look in your closet. Was it an eagle? Was it a falcon? What is it, a pterodactyl? It was a pterodactyl. Not just any pterodactyl, though. It was a robot pterodactyl that breathed fire and sprayed jelly beans everywhere. Yeah. And those jelly beans apparently made a guitar riff start out of nowhere. Those are some magical jelly beans. Magical jelly beans. Are they edible? Well, I mean, it really depends on, you know, what you consider edible. For example, some birds eat rocks, and, um... You know, some, some fish and shrimp consume hydrogen sulfide. No. No, they are not edible at all. No. I'm really confused as to why you keep eating the jelly beans that yeah, I... Well, pretty interesting flavor. I, I guess I'll die. Yeah. But anyway... Um, but before you die... We're the... We're the we need to go to Narnia. Okay. We need to go to Narnia to get me some socks so I can get all those rodents out of my feet. But the robot pterodactyl, where did it tell us to robot go? Robot pterodactyl told us to go to a magical castle in Narnia. And Wait, how do we get to Narnia? We gotta go in through the closet. Oh, you, you missed that part. I didn't at all. You just decided to steamroll it anyway. Okay. But we went into Scott's closet and, you know, had to push our way past, through, past some skeletons. But, you know... Had to push our way past some gimp suits. <laughs> Thought I'd kept those in the other closet. <laughs> so, we push past all those gimp suits, you know, make sure to wipe So off many the, gimp suits. Yeah, there's a lot of Vaseline still on those. Oh. Um, and then we emerged into a forest. And there before us stood a satyr. <laughs> there before us stood a jackalope. There before us stood Russ and jumping stilts with the cool pants and stuff. And he said, So you like socks, huh? <laughs> and we responded, yeah. We, we can keep our feet yeah, dry. Yeah, socks are pretty awesome. You socks know, are like, totally awesome. Keep your feet clean, keep you from getting blisters and stuff. Yeah, socks are pretty cool. Where can we get socks? Russ? You can get socks at the Magical Sock Shrub. <laughs> You can get socks in the Magical Sock River. You can get socks from the Magical Sock Griffin of Sock Mountain. It's, it's just over there, like, to the left, past the 7-Eleven. You can't miss it. So we took out at a light jog, jogging up the mountain, climbing over the peaks on the peaks, did, like, a handstand, no believer, did a few little tricks and juggled some things, juggled some things. And then down came the griffin, and he said, I bear socks on my talons. Sock talons. Sock talons. And they look pretty comfortable socks. There's like, there's like a wool sock, and I think, I think there's one like sheep wool, and there's an alpaca wool one. And then there was I, one that had stripes and stuff. It was really nice. But unfortunately, as you may have noticed, all these socks, there was only one of them. And well, you can't have just one sock, no matter how comfortable it may be. So we asked the griffin, the magical sock griffin. Yes, griffin sock. Sock griffin. Magical sock griffin. Yes. Tell us. Tell us the location of the missing twins to your magical, super comfortable socks. And the griffin said... You can't wear mismatched socks? 
He's, he's a very practical, magical griffin. He is a very game. practical, <laughs> magical sock griffin. Which is confusing considering all the rigmarole we had to find, you know, go through to get to this guy. You'd think, you know, someone this practical would be easier to find, but, you know, who knows. I have a stand on the side of a yeah, road. Maybe, maybe like, like a sign Matt says, socks, socks this way. Socks by griffin. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we wanted matching socks because matching Johnny, socks. Johnny's a matching person. Seriously, Not like it. <laughs> Johnny is a mismatched person that came out of the womb just all crazy like. So you had to find something to balance that out, like yeah. matching socks. Matching socks. Matching socks. Matching magical socks. So we said to the griffin, please tell us the location of the twins to these socks. He said, okay, fine. Since you're so dead set on matching socks, you bunch of conformist weirdos. Hey. No, this is the Griffin talking. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I said, hey, I was taking offense to it. That's a good point. That's a good point. Sometimes magical sock Griffins can be kind of a douchebag. Just yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Jerk. Seriously. Jerk. jerk of a sock Griffin. So he told us to he then travel down the mountain, around a pass, over a highway, into another mountain, into a river, down through the earth, through China, pick up some Chinese food, come back, give him the Chinese food, and then he'd send us over another river and through another highway and into some stranger's house who was going to yell at us, but we need to just press right on through that and then go, and then there's a store that sells socks. <laughs> and then there's the robotic pterodactyl who actually had socks all along. <laughs> and there was Godzilla! <laughs> Uh, and there were socks on his feet. Really giant socks, though. But they matched. They matched. They matched. Matching Godzilla-sized socks. socks. And so we said to Godzilla, Godzilla, please, can we have your giant matching socks so that I might finally have clean feet that aren't infested with vermin? And he said, I'm sorry, I don't speak giant monster. I, I'm sorry, I don't speak Portuguese giant monster. <laughs> oh, German giant monster. Berlin. So can I have your socks? Sure. Okay, thanks. <laughs> And the moral of our story, wear clean socks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rask about story time. Another terrible life choice brought to you by the open stage. <laughs>